Tonight, a story of commitment and the desire to become a family. After a residential home closed, the love between two children and their group home mother did not end. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown shows us what happened in court today that made for a special forever family. Friday, April 8th, 2022 is a day the Sotomayor kids won't soon forget. All official. Yay. Yay. Now you can make LaDonna Comer, the teen's group home mom, adopted them. She's cared for them for almost four years. 14-year-old Christian Sotomayor and his 15-year-old sister, Arielis, met LaDonna Comer when they were placed at Bridging Lives, a group home for youth in foster care. Unfortunately, the home closed its doors. When the group home closed, we were kind of worried that we'd be switched to a new group home until the adoption was final. But I'm just very grateful, grateful that she let us stay in her house. Thank you. Wow. I love them dearly. I would do anything for them. And, you know, um, we formed a great bond. So I, there was no other doubt <laughs> that these are my kids. LaDonna Comer was a live in house parent for Bridging Lives. This is a wonderful day. Um, I knew that in her heart that she loved all the kids that was there. Um, she keeps calling me her supervisor, but we're friends. Not, and not family. just friends, yes. Yes. It's a special one. It's a story of resiliency, commitment, and um, a desire to become a family. Oftentimes, older children and sibling groups are more difficult to place. It's exciting, you know, like, it's been so long since, you know, we first entered the system. I mean, not just that, it's been so long since we've had, like, a family. Their new mom says she's been thinking about opening up her own group home. My goal is to open up um, another residential home so that we can pour into other children as I did with them. In Orange County, Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.